Today is the first Sunday of Lent, and Lent is a 40-day period that begins on Ash Wednesday and ends on Holy Thursday before the celebration of the Paschal Triduum, excluding Sundays. And during this holy season, we are all encouraged to pray, to fast, and to give alms. All are called to meditate on the life of Jesus and share in His suffering by contrition and penance. And the purple color that is used in the liturgy throughout the season of Lent symbolizes the sorrowful character of this season. On this first Sunday of Lent, we are invited to meditate on the urgent call for repentance. The Gospel of Mark narrates that Jesus was baptized by John in the River Jordan, and after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus was tempted by the devil in the desert. Jesus, however, was able to resist the temptation because he was determined to be faithful to the mission given to him by the Heavenly Father. And Jesus made this declaration. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. This declaration of Jesus in today's gospel summarizes the challenges or the challenge for all Christians during this season of Lent. That we too must turn away from our wicked ways and be faithful to the message of the kingdom of God. And the appropriate time is now. Like Jesus, we must also resist temptation. But how can we fight and overcome temptation? Can we avoid and repel temptation? According to the popular song of Miss Eva Eugenio, O Tukso, layuan mo ako. Temptation, stay away from me. Temptation, however, cannot stay away from us. It is natural for temptation to come close to us. It will keep getting closer until we give in. Who among us has not experienced temptation? We have all experienced temptation. There is the temptation of money, power, popularity, and the temptation of the flesh, among many others. According to the gospel, even Jesus was tempted by the devil, but he did not give in to the temptation. The big differ difference is that Jesus knew how to fight and overcome temptation. There are two ways that Jesus used when he was tempted, which we can also use to fight and overcome temptations in our lives. And these are prayer and fasting. Jesus stayed in the desert and spent 40 days in prayer and fasting. The devil tempted Jesus at a time when his body was very weak. We too will be tempted by the devil when we are weak. The only thing that will strengthen us is prayer and fasting. So, on this 40-day period of Lent, a time of preparation for the celebration of the Lord's resurrection, let us deepen our prayer life. Prayer is not just talking to God or telling Him our needs. Prayer is also listening to God. Let us therefore give God time to speak to us through moments of silence. 
Second is fasting, a way of making sacrifices. Let us intensify our acts of sacrifice to discipline our bodies. Our sacrifices do not need to be big. Even a small reduction in time spent watching television, playing computer games, texting, scrolling through social media, smoking, drinking, and many other activities can be a form of sacrifice. When we fast or abstain, we deny our body's pleasures, which helps strengthen our souls. We have all experienced being tempted, and we may continue to be tempted. But unlike Jesus, we may give in to temptation. But what's most important is that we rise up, we start again, and continue to fight and resist temptation. So, what Jesus wants is our repentance. But how do we repent? From the gospel event of temptations in the desert, Jesus tells us what we have to do. First, repentance is turning away from material comfort to cross, from personal convenience to personal service, from earthly satisfaction to spiritual commitment. It is not the way of Jesus to bribe people to follow Him. It is not His strategy to promise garden of roses to attract people to Him. Jesus wants our dedication and not our admiration. He does not want us to be watchers, but witnesses. He calls us to be followers and not just be member of His fan club. Second, repentance is not to compromise. It is not to make bargain with our faith that there is no room for neutrality in our relationship with Jesus. It is either we walk with Him or we walk out. It is either we go up with Him or we give up. Repentance is to commit our whole self our whole thinking, our whole being to Jesus. And lastly, repentance is not for material gain or for self-glorification. It is not to be spectacular or sensational. It is not for gimmick of publicity. Repentance demands 360 degrees turn around from our old self, sin, and selfishness. Repentance is a change of beliefs. It is a change of life. It is a change of heart. Repentance is not change of words or style. Repentance is turning back to God.